Hi guys! I'm Juliana. I'm back with a new video. 제 머리 많이 길었죠? 제 머리 많이 길었죠? So today I want to teach you how to ask someone to repeat something and to read or pronounce something for you. Because we all know Korean words are quite picky to read sometimes. I used to ask people how to read it. Something. I used to do this on the bus. It's like, I have a beer kid over here. I just go, excuse me, I am learning English. Can you read this for me? Because I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, this is actually a coin bank. Excuse me. 저기요. 실례합니다. 죄송한데요. 죄송한데요 means, I'm sorry, but can you or could you read this for me? I'm learning Korean because I don't know how to read this. 저는 한국어를 배우고 있어요. 저는 한국어를 배우고 있어요. 이거 뭐라고 읽어요? Faster? 이거 뭐라고 읽어요? 이거 뭐라고 읽어요? Or can you tell me how to read this? 이거 뭐라고 읽는지 알려주실 수 있어요? I hope it's not too difficult to say. 이거 뭐라고 읽는지 알려주실 수 있어요? I always ask people something I would like to know or I don't know. So then how to ask someone to repeat what they just said. Excuse me or sorry. In Korean, it's easy as well. It's kind of short. If someone is older than you, you usually say, 네? 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 But just like what could be quite offensive. I recommend you to say, sorry, can you repeat? Could you repeat? 죄송하지만 다시 한번 말씀해 주실래요? 죄송하지만 다시 한번 말씀해 주실래요? 죄송하지만 is sorry, but 다시 말씀해 주세요. 다시 말씀해 주세요. Let's put this in a situation. If you're working in a cafe and the customer goes, Americano 하나 주세요. You didn't get what the person said. 다시 말씀해 주세요. 다시 말씀해 주시겠어요? I hear someone at the door. <laughs> 죄송하지만 못 알아들었어요. Or 못 들었어요. I didn't hear it. 못 들었어요. Sorry, I didn't get it. 죄송하지만 못 들었어요. How about, can you speak slowly? 천천히 말씀해 주시겠어요? 천천히 말씀해 주시겠어요? So all together. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Could you repeat? 죄송하지만 잘못 들었어요. 다시 한번 말씀해 주시겠어요? You are a very polite person. I always like polite ways. And next, 뭐라고 하셨어요? 뭐라고 하셨어요? What did you say? So this one is very similar to English. Depending on the way you talk, it could be offensive. So it means, what did you say? 뭐라고 하셨어요? Or, excuse me, what did you say? 네? 뭐라고 하셨어요? Careful with your face. 뭐라고 하셨어요? When you were with your friend, you didn't hear what your friend said. Just like, huh? Mm? That's it. You're listening to the third person and you didn't get what the person said. So you go to your friend. What did they say? You can say like this. 뭐래? 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 This is very easy. What did they say? What did he say? What did she say, like I told you in my previous videos, we don't necessarily have to say subjects and you are with a friend who's older than you or any person who's older than you. You can say, 뭐래요? 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 Put yo at the end. 뭐래요? Faster. 뭐래요? We always say this, especially me. In both Korean and English, my listening is not very good. So I always say, 뭐래? <laughs> if you want to say longer than this, 뭐라고 했어요? 뭐라고 했어요? If you're with your friend, 
You can just remove yo. 뭐라고 했어? 뭐라고 했어? Then they will kind of repeat for you. Um, 뭐라고 하는 거예요? What are they saying? 뭐라고 하는 거예요? 무슨 얘기예요? What are they talking about? 무슨 얘기예요? 다 같이 말하면 네? 네? 뭐라고요? 뭐라고요? 뭐라고 하셨어요? 뭐라고 하셨어요? What did you say? 다시 한번 말씀해주세요. Please repeat. 다시 한번 말씀해주세요. 다시 한번 말해주실래요? Can you repeat? 다시 한번 말해주실래요? If you put I'm sorry at the beginning, you're a very polite person. 뭐래? 뭐래? 저 사람이 뭐래요? And 이거 뭐라고 말해요? How to read this? 이거 뭐라고 말해요? How to say this? Or you can't think of the words that you're looking for. 이거 뭐라고 하더라? 이거 뭐라고 하더라? Your friend, of course. 이거 뭐라고 하더라? What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word? 아, 그게 뭐라고 말하지? 그 뭐라고 말하지? You can say all of these. Uh, 이거 어떻게 읽어? 이거 어떻게 읽어요? 이거 어떻게 읽어요? 이거 뭐라고 읽어요? 이거 뭐라고 읽어요? 이거는 카이닉스 카이닉스 라고 읽어요. I think questioning and asking something is very important when you're learning something in terms of everything. I'm interested in languages, so I always ask people. When I was working in Canada, let's say someone said red eye flight. So I'm like, sorry, what flight? And they go, oh, red eye flight. And I'll be like, red eye, how to spell it? They will repeat it once again. So R-E-D-E-Y-E, -E -E, flight. I'm like, so what's the meaning of it? What does it mean? 무슨 뜻이야? 그거 무슨 뜻이야? 그게 무슨 말이야? 무슨 말이야? So they will explain it to you. Oh, red eye flight is something, something, something. So I go, oh, okay. So red eye flight is something, something, something. 지금도 그때도 이렇게 저는 영어를 배우고 있어요. 이렇게 영어를 배우고 있어요. This is how I learned and am learning English. That's for today's video. Hope this is helpful for you. I will see you in my next one. Bye.